How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Martin with Belvaro Auto Spa. And uh, today it's uh, Armor Detail Supply again. They got a new version of their decon soap, their high pH uh, alkaline pre-wash shampoo and stripping shampoo. Um, it is a slightly different color. I don't know if the bottle color is permanent or if they're going back to black. Um, but it is a slightly different color and there are some uh, changes made to it. So from what I have seen the person um, who was fortunate enough with them to test it ahead of release uh, was showing that the stripping capabilities for pre-washing is much stronger than this one than it is in this one. I noticed this one is a little bit more concentrated too. So we'll see uh, what they formulated up. Now if you look on their website, it's just still going to say decon soap. They don't explicitly state that this is version 2 or whatever. They do put down in the, in the, like, the additional details on the page, you know, what dates the product has gone. Uh, undergone a formulation change, whether that be an upgrade or what have you. Uh, but you see the labels have changed as well. Um, the uh, font down here, that's really all that's changed there. And uh, back here as well. So this says three to four ounces of soap for a foam cannon. This one says one to three ounces of soap for a foam cannon. So you can pause and read those instructions there. Obviously you're gonna let it sit a couple minutes. I got my wife's car. Uh, we're gonna test it on the back where there's a lot of dirt built up. And we're gonna see, we're gonna compare them head to head how much uh, dirt it removes. So we're gonna put, since this one says, uh, what does it say? Three to four ounces of soap. Um, this one's going in a foam cannon with about 250 milliliters of water. So we'll put, I'll put two ounces of soap there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be generous. This one's got about 500 milliliters of water, so I'll put two ounces of soap in that as well. This one is more concentrated, but it has double the amount of water. So let me get my measuring cups and we'll start measuring those out. And if you wanna see just the results, again, you're on YouTube, skip ahead. If you comment down below saying, oh, why are you talking so much? Um, hit your head off of a wall because again, you're on YouTube and you can skip ahead, it's not that hard. All right, so here's the old version. Now this stuff is clear. I think the, I don't remember if, uh, I think this is the bulk I bought that they, you know, they, they had a run of them that were just the wrong color and they sold them off cheap. And I got a gallon of that. So I think that's what this is, but it's the same formula as the original. All right. Let me get this one. When using the MJGC Pro Foam Cannons, they've got the version 1 version 2. There's not a big difference between them other than some uh, physical characteristics, but this does come with a with one of those dropper or sports bottle caps, I guess you could call it as well. I don't like using those because um, the soap tends to leak out from the side, so I just pour it out. This, is this a little bit more watery? It is. And I personally prefer the more runny soaps. I don't like the thick soaps because I feel like a lot of it gets left behind on the, you know, the measurement container and what have you. And it's harder to mix in when it's thinner. It mixes in more easily. So and you can see here, this is a little bit thicker. Some of it still didn't drip out. There is hot water in these right now as well, if that matters to you. All right, we'll crank them all both up to max foam. The reason I put more in here is because I'm going to be using the do this to do the whole car, so I'm trying to maximize my time here. Now they're both on max foam, give them a generous swirl. Mixed up and ready to go. Let's go over to the car. All right, so here's the car here. I know it's a little dark, hard to see, but if you look up close, there's a lot of dirt on here, a lot. So we'll do the left half with the new stuff, the right half with the old stuff, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. All right, here's version one. <laughs> Maybe it's 
just me. Maybe it's because they were applied at separate times, but version two did seem a little bit thicker and clingier than version one. Uh, but I'm gonna let that sit on there and drip for a couple minutes and we'll come back and rinse it off. We'll rinse off this side first and this side, obviously. All right, I'd say that's about enough dwell time. Go ahead and get it rinsed off, dried off, and we'll inspect, see how it does. <laughs> like a cherry strawberry scent I'm not sure DJ or Bradley for watching go ahead and uh, leave in the comments what the scent is so that I know <laughs> contact washing. This vehicle is ceramic coated. Granted this coating is a little bit tired, um, but it is ceramic coated so. All right, let's go in for an inspection and see. Still pretty dirty. A lot of stuck on stuff. It's gonna be fun to wash off, but I don't know. Maybe this left side's a little bit cleaner, but look up close here and here. Uh, it's really close, but it does look a little bit better. Still really dirty. You got a lot of baked on stuff on here that's got a needs needs contact wash to get off. Yeah, I'd say the new one did a little bit better. Nothing staggering though. Um, you know, the test I saw, I don't know the guy's driving conditions. I don't know if that was after it was raining, but last time this car was washed was a month ago. Um, I think it drizzled once and it hasn't rained since, and it's been over 90 degrees every day, so. Just give you some background on uh, the conditions this car has been in. So, uh, is it better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, nothing extravagant though, but it's not like it's a new product. It's the same product, but anyways, let's go back to the table for the final thoughts. Okay, so um, the new product is an improvement over the old one in many aspects. Um, for me personally, I like that it's a thinner consistency. It's easier to pour. Um, the scent, I like the fruity scent better than whatever the scent was of the, the original one. I don't even think it had much of a scent, but... Let me, let me get another whiff in here. Yeah, it's definitely like some sort of strawberry, watermelon, or some kind of red fruit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very good at describing it. Uh, this is also more concentrated, so you're going to get more for your money. 
Uh, so that's another benefit that they did that. I mean, you know, essentially they're losing out on money when they concentrate a product more, but it's a better value now that it is more concentrated. And you saw that we even got, um, you know, we got we got pretty pretty good foam, better foam, slightly. Um, it just seems they made some tweaks in everything here, and uh, they just made some improvements. Now, from the guy that I saw testing it, it looks like just on regular dirt, this new one will do a better job. But uh, what we've got here, we've got a lot of lime scale in our soil and water, um, and that just sticks on the outside of vehicles, and that doesn't come off easily. And that's a lot of what you were seeing. So. Um, doesn't look like it, but again, you know, acids are better for that, and this car is getting an acid wash after this, so. <laughs> but, you know, I, I heard they are working on an acid soap, so we'll see whenever uh, that releases, how that does. Um, and I did I did pay for this, by the way. I did pay for this gallon. The original bottle they sent to me for free, but this one I paid for, so. Uh, they're not, they're not, I'm not being sponsored to do any reviews. Even when people send stuff for free, you know me, I still do a uh, fair and impartial review. Um, I am an affiliate for them though, so if you want to purchase this, um, I don't know if they have it on Amazon. They do have some other products on Amazon. If they do, I'll put a link there. I'll also post an affiliate link to their website with a 10% off discount code for anything on their website. Uh, that all goes to support the channel directly and it gives you a discount. And so everybody wins, right? Um, yeah, looking f forward to more stuff from Ar Armor Detail Supply. They're not a YouTube brand. Um, I got nothing against the YouTubers putting out their own brands out there. Um, but I've got more faith in a uh, brand that was started by a couple of guys with detailing shops versus uh, somebody who's, you know, they got their they got their audience from YouTube and now they're trying to send a, sell a product that's been more or less white labeled. And, you know, OK, sure, maybe it's not exactly white labeled, but the formulas, guys, because, again, I, I sell products for Ryan West Industries. I know how a lot of this industry works. He is a blender uh, that that is a blending company. Um, what a lot of these companies will do is. Armored detail supply included. They're not exempt. I don't. I don't know who makes their stuff. I don't know who makes many of these companies' stuff. Okay, um, but what I do know about the various blenders out there is, is that they essentially they approach the blender. Um, they say, "Hey, this is what we're looking for." They may or may not have their own chemist, and the blender makes the product for them. But the blender usually bases it off of something they have that's existing, and they tweak it from there. Um, and you've seen some people like Brian Apex Detail said like, yeah, it's, it's, you know, when he first launched his line, I don't know how his line is now, but he said it's there basically this company made it to my specifications. And I like that kind of honesty. Um, Armor Detail Supply, uh, not Bradley, um, DJ has been manufacturing chemicals for a long time, kind of small scale. They finally want to take a big scale and uh, they, they got their own formulations. Pan sounds like he has his own blender. Um, uh, if I had to guess for Pan and Detail Co, the same company that makes um, DIY Detail probably makes their stuff. But again, formulations I'm sure are, you know, DIY between DIY Detail, Detail Co and Pan's uh, clean line. That you know the formulations are probably made to their likings and not them just re, you know white labeling and rebottling the same stuff. Some companies do do that and that's fine. Um, Ryan West Industries, that's most of the business that we get there is people just white labeling. They're not even wanting to change things. Some people do change things, but most people don't. It's fine. But that's that's a lot of those people sell in their local market though. If you're going to the e-commerce market, it's tough competition here. So be ready. Uh, but anyways, uh, enough of that, that, uh, sidetrack there. Um, armor detail supply. Hey, great upgrade to the product. I like it. Um, looking forward to seeing what else you guys put out. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you like talking about this stuff and everything, join my Facebook group. There's a link down in the description for that as well. And, uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I don't know if I said that already. I've got ADHD. I have no idea. Uh, but I will see you all in the next video. Leave a comment with your thoughts down below and, uh, keep them clean. Have a good one.